All right. Um, welcome to this uh, video recording, and for this session, we will cover about Cold Igniter. So, Code Igniter is a PHP framework that allows you to develop uh, PHP websites uh, very fast. It allows you to use their uh, existing libraries, that uh, which you will you don't need to reinvent the wheel so there's no need for you to uh, recreate some functionality that has already been uh, created like for example the date uh, the database access so those are uh, easily available in the framework so you don't need to develop from scratch so code igniter obviously uh, you can visit it in codeigniter.com and you can read all of the features so anything about code igniter so for now uh, let's uh, try to install code igniter so our, there is uh, two ways for you to uh, install uh, code igniter so number one is to download the file here so make sure you read the uh, the information here that says uh, intended for 7.3 plus uh, PHP so it requires at least 7.3 PHP version so if you need if you're going to check uh, your SAMP or your uh, uh, PHP version uh, you can just do um, if you already installed SAMP take note so for you to check go to the command line and just type HP P. So this tells you the current version of your PHP, and right now we have uh, satisfied the requirements, which is it says here 7.3 and above, so including 8.1. So for those who do not know, uh, the latest version for PHP is now version 8, but still, uh, mostly um, 7 plus is still. Uh, widely used right now so maybe in the future uh, these uh, the newer version will be used uh, commonly okay since we're okay here then we could just download the file somewhere like here on my drive C drive and extract the file all right so you'll uh, get something like this uh, these files so this includes all of the libraries and then the uh, public files and that's it you could just uh, rename this and um, you're done you should uh, usually run this in your web server but there is another one uh, convenient and much uh, very uh, accurate well you can uh, do that by uh, going here by going to the installation then you'll see here the composer installation so what you need here is to have, let's go to Composer, Composer, then you'll see getcomposer.org. So getcomposer.org is basically a, a package manager where you can download uh, libraries, uh, vast uh, libraries available on the internet so you can install Aravel, Node, Git, so any libraries using the Composer. So you need to download this and have it installed. So if you're Windows, you can just click on the uh, .exe file here. Just download that. And after installation, uh, you'll know that it's working if you're going to type in the command line Composer. Then you'll see something like this. So if you get something, uh, Composer is uh, not defined or 
unknown then you have probably uh, failed to install the installer correctly so if you have done it right then you'll see something like this right <clears throat> okay so next is we're going to uh, install code igniter using composer so you can read through here on this content but i want you to uh focus on the on this one on the on this section so you just need to type these uh, commands so first you need to choose which folder you're going to install the code igniter so for me i'll be going to the uh, it117 folder and there you go so you just need to copy this and shift insert and basically it, it the composer going to create a project called code igniter so in the last part here the project dash root is the actual folder where you are going to install the framework so let's say um uh, test one or test so this means that we are going to download all the code igniter file in the test folder but on my end the <coughs> the test folder doesn't exist so the composer will automatically create the folder for that all right let's run it okay then you'll see something like this there you go There you have. It. So it basically installed 28 packages. So you can read through all of the documentation later on. Like for example, if you need to upgrade your um, code igniter, then you can just basically type composer update. And so far, uh, no update, uh, no new version exists since we just installed it. So that's how uh, that's pretty much obvious and after that what you need to do after you have installed the uh, um, code igniter you just need to go to the folder where you have installed the framework and uh, you can open it in your code igniter I mean uh, open it in your uh, code editor but on my end I'll be using uh, code And the next thing that you need is to rename the env to dot env. So from env to dot env. So dot env basically is an environment file where uh, code igniter gets its configuration. So if it's uh, if it doesn't see any dot env, then it will not execute all of this configuration. Like for example. Uh, we need to uh, change right now as you can see here it, it starts with a number sign so this means each line is commented comment out so you just need to remove the uh, number sign then uh, change this from production to development so production meaning uh, it is uh, your actual user or your uh, visitors are, actu are actually visiting your website but uh, right now since we are just uh, starting from scratch or developing our website then we need to set this to development it is a uh, very um, you'll need uh, you'll see a lot of um, features and uh, uh, information when you see your website under development You're, you will see debugging time uh, debugging information uh, for your website the next so we already uh, have it installed then we need to uh, execute or run our website so you need to go to the new terminal and as you can see it's already in the folder pointed out so you just need to type php spark then serve 
There you go. As you can see here, uh, the development server has been created. Uh, although we have some, but still we need uh, some that is for the purpose of uh, it, it needs to have a uh, MySQL and then PHP compile, uh, interpreter. So we need those two. That's why we still need to use SAP. So you can just click on this or follow the link. And right now we have successfully um, launch or uh, run our website. So as you can see, it has the uh, local server called uh, localhost colon 8080. So that is the uh, development server uh, code igniter created. All right. So what do we uh, what we need uh, to do next is to uh, set up our database. So in your uh, browser, you need to type localhost and then PHP my admin. And you can just uh, simply create a new database. Uh, let's say um, uh, CI4. And this will be uh, the database that we're going to use. So back in our editor, you just need to look for the database section. So you might want to uncheck or uncomment the line where it says host name, the database, the username, and then the password. So our host name, the default uh, host for uh, SAM or PHMI is localhost. And then the database we created is CI4. The username uh, by default is root and it doesn't have a password. All right, so we have successfully uh, created and set up our database and it is now connected to our code igniter. So we don't see anything uh, right now since uh, it doesn't have, I mean, we don't see any actions coming from our database. It is because uh, we don't have anything uh, or any code that interacts with our database for now. All right. So, uh, what else? So maybe let's try editing some of the files. So first, the public folder. This is where uh, all your access and traffic goes first. There. So we'll see the code here. It access all of the uh, paths and then the configuration files. And under app, that is where we are going to uh, edit some of the files. So most of your work will be uh, found in this folder under uh, app. So let's try to see under config. And um, maybe routes. So routes is basically, uh, it manages all of your traffic. So this is where uh, it uh, it sends and then responds uh, all of your uh, content to your user. So app, uh, just like here, you can uh, change your base URL here. And so under default uh, language, English, the time zone, you can change it here. Character set, very important. UTF-8 is default or uh, universal character set that is being used. And that's it uh, in the uh, app. So although we have a lot of files here, so we can uh, maybe check that later. So let's say, um, let's try to views, check on the views and edit welcome messages. So right now, the default file being loaded for our website is this file. So maybe let's uh, right here. So we can just uh, change it here. Um, paragraph. And let's say hello. Word. And refresh that. Then you'll see our text. Uh, being uh, uh, showed up uh, has showed up in our website so we can discuss more about the controllers 
um, models and then views so basically controllers is the one who controls the uh, information the response and then the request from our user our models is basically our database uh, which table do we need to access so the model is the one responsible for that and views is for uh, of, of course showing our content so what we just did here uh, basically uh, that's how the views work so it is the one who manage uh, what content what file or what information are we going to display to our users so views is like in the uh, the last part of our uh, process on uh, accessing the website all right so hopefully uh, you have learned on this uh, video so we'll discuss more about the controllers uh, models and views on the next video so thank you for watching